I am trying this new bone broth this morning. I got this off Amazon, so if it's good, I will link it down below. But this is a beef bone broth. I usually have chicken, so I'm really excited to see how this one is going to compare. So I'll let you know, but it looks good. I feel like beef would be even better than chicken, so I'm really excited to try this. It's also grass-fed, and the only ingredient is bone broth. I also like how it's not in individual packets, because when I'm at home, I don't really need it to be, so it's perfect. <laughs> able to work out and go to the gym in almost a week now because last week my car wasn't working and i think it's actually fixed so let's cross our fingers when we started this morning but it's supposed to be snowing tonight and tomorrow and the next day so i don't really want to drive if the snow is bad obviously so i won't be going to any workout i can always work out at home it's not the end of the world but i just like going out to work out so much better and having proper equipment and stuff especially going to my workout classes i just really hope the snow holds off when i'm doing my healthy habits i feel so much better like it really shows the contrast between when i'm not doing them and when i am doing them i feel it in my body in my mental health like i feel so good when i'm on top of my stuff and i'm getting stuff done and i'm integrating my healthy habits i feel so amazing but when i'm not i just literally go on a decline versus when i'm doing my healthy habits i'm going all with up and i'm just trying to be better one percent a day you guys i'm not trying to do extravagant things every single day but little habits add up and they accumulate and they compound they really do make a difference in the long term so that is my goal is just to get one percent better a day because that is actually a lot in the grand scheme of things so anyways i am so warm this morning i have this new jacket on from princess polly and it is so warm i am feeling so cozy i'm gonna put on a podcast and drive to the gym right now because you guys know i've been starting to listen to more podcasts lately you guys left a lot of good recommendations in my last video so thank you so much i'm gonna start listening to all of your recommendations but i'm telling you if you guys want ways to get in motivation like multitasking put on a good podcast when you're driving maybe even when you're at the gym it really does make a difference and it motivates me so much this morning i'm actually feeling really good like i'm feeling on top of the world i motivated myself last night and i wasn't even barely tired this morning i feel really really good by the way the bone broth that i drank was not good i did not like it it tasted so bland because it was just pure bone broth there wasn't any spices added and i didn't really realize the effect that would have on the taste so i wouldn't recommend it honestly <laughs> i added my own salt in it because i just couldn't handle it but i'm gonna drink the rest of that tub which will probably last me a while but it's okay you live and you learn so i'm not gonna link it down below but i will link a better one that i like down below off amazon so let's go to the gym hope my car starts if you see me at the gym then i did so praying for the best okay let's give her a go yay okay let's go guys so i just quickly got ready i showered and put on a hat and put on a sweatsuit because i'm going to meet my brother and my younger sister for breakfast and then we're going to all get our nails done together we booked my brother a pedicure he's not gonna get his toes painted it's a manly pedicure so he's just gonna get his feet scrubbed because you all know boys have crusty musty dusty feet one of my favorite things to do is to get breakfast it's my favorite meal that i eat out i just love the vibes it's always such a good vibe i'm getting like a coffee 
coffee with a nice breakfast meal never disappoint but i'm finally getting my nails done i've had these for way too long and i'm really really excited to get them done do you know when your nails are at the point where it's like okay i literally cannot go any longer like you just need to get them done my nails are at that point and they're just irking me one of my goals and healthy habits that i want to implement for the new year is just doing more things and getting myself out of the house during the week because i feel like i'm always on grind mode and i always am working and doing something on my computer and that kind of sometimes leads to me feeling isolated because i don't really have co-workers that i see every day and so working from home is its own different beast i wouldn't trade it for the world but at the same time you don't really get that element of social interaction every day and so sometimes i really feel like i lack that because i work from home so essentially i'm just talking to a camera and i'm not getting any responses back live <laughs> so for my mental health i'm calling this a healthy habit getting myself out of the house more doing more things like going for breakfast more often going to get my nails done with friends instead of going alone like little things like that that i can integrate that's going to be really healthy for me and my mental health that can really just like elevate my life and have a good balance between like grinding being productive but also treating myself getting out of the house so anyways i just wanted to share that because i guess i never talked about that before where having this job can sometimes feel a little I guess isolating or any working from home position you just have to make sure to get yourself out of the house because I could stay in my house and not have any social interaction but with Joel for a whole week straight and it would be easy for me to do that because that's just like my nature and what I've been doing <laughs> but anyways let's get going I have to meet them I think in like 20 minutes so I'm gonna get going and I will take you guys along of course So here are how my nails turned out. I'm actually obsessed. These are almost all my natural nails. I just have one fake tip on because my new real nail chipped. So what I got is called gel overlay. And it's basically what they put on top of your acrylics to make them thick and not break. But I got it done on my natural nails. So I'm actually obsessed. I love it. I'm really happy that me and Madison are on the same nail schedule so we can get our nails done together. But it just feels amazing having a refresh of my nails. I've been meaning to get these done for so long now. <music> Hey guys, so I just got to the grocery store. I want to do kind of a big restock because I haven't been shopping in like a week and it's supposed to snow. I really hope it doesn't. I do love the snow, but I don't like when it ruins my routine. So we'll see. Whatever's meant to be is going to be meant to be, but I just hope it doesn't snow because I want to go to the Mimurco class tomorrow. But I can't really control the weather. Anyways, so just in case it snows, it's such a cozy feeling to know that you're stocked up with groceries so that I don't have to drive. I drive a car. I don't drive a jeep so it's pretty risky if it's like a blizzard out me taking this car out and i definitely don't want to be driving in bad conditions so i'm going grocery shopping now and i'm going to try to stock up for like at least three dinners so that it could last us the rest of the week with leftovers so like three big dinners so i don't have to go shopping for hopefully another week just to be stocked up because it's so funny at my family's house living with my family our pantry is huge we have like a million things in the pantry there's always something to eat because whenever my mom or my siblings go grocery shopping they buy so much because there's a whole household to feed but when me and joel go grocery shopping we always are very conservative with it because we don't want to be wasteful we don't want to waste food and we're like it's just the two of us like we don't need so much food but then that leaves the pantry being empty sometimes <laughs> which sucks but so yeah i just want to kind of stock up my pantry and my fridge because i don't know what the weather is going to do also really random but this morning at the gym i was reading so usually in between my sets i'll scroll on my phone and i'll you just kind of do that to entertain me while i'm waiting till i can do my next set but i was like oh my gosh have my books transferred onto my phone because i download my books on my ipad and i'm like oh maybe they transferred to my phone through icloud and they did so i was reading atomic habits while working out in between my sets instead of scrolling on social media and i was also obviously listening to music but it was amazing the time at the gym went by so fast and i also read a few chapters of the book and it was just great so if you guys have never tried that out if you have books on your phone definitely try it out because i don't know i just feel so not good 
when I'm scrolling on my phone at the gym because it kind of feels counterintuitive to be doing something super healthy and then I'm just like clogging my brain with a whole bunch of like random TikTok videos. So anyways, I just thought that I'd throw that out there. But another good thing too is even like listening to a podcast to keep you entertained at the gym so you don't need to be like scrolling on your phone. But I just like hate personally scrolling on my phone when I'm at the gym. It just doesn't feel good to me. So anyways, reading is where it's at for me and I'm going to try to implement that healthy habit now. Yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know because it just made my workout so good. Anyways, let's go do this grocery shopping, stock up for the week and buy some healthy and some little sweet treats as well because it's all about balance, you guys. Let's go. massive grocery haul i really did stock up i'm gonna show you guys very very quick got some zevias in the cola flavor i got this cold brew because i've been into cold brew lately and i want to drink it again got some teriyaki sauce for tonight's dinner green onion avocados lime apples bananas sweet potatoes strawberries some sparkling water because i've been obsessed with mixing this with lemon juice it's so good kombucha vegan healthy ranch unhealthy ranch i got some chicken broth turkey meat some coleslaw for tonight's dinner some um, frozen broccoli so I can always have it on hand I got some vegan sour cream and then some hummus and then I just got some chicken thighs and some brown chicken I got two packs of bacon got some spinach some mini carrots just to snack on some of these good thing crackers that are gluten-free some ginger and then I got two things of ground beef and some tortilla chips I also got this Tim Hortons creamer this is basically just cream and sugar mixed together which is a guilty weekend treat for me and Joel it's like their double double creamer it's so so good since it has dairy in it I only have a really small amount like once a week on the weekend just for a little special special treat but this is so good 10 out of 10 would recommend because it's new I feel like this is such a Canadian thing but anyways that is the big haul I spent almost $300 let's put this away organize the groceries in the fridge and then I'm gonna start cooking dinner <laughs> Just stocked the fridge. It looks so much more full and it's just such a good feeling having a full fridge with everything that you need. There's literally no better feeling than going to cook something and you have like all the ingredients. So satisfying as well. But yeah, I really want to get an egg holder. I'm trying to find like a cute ceramic one to go here that holds like a bunch of eggs. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I wanted to show you guys I got this organic sauerkraut. Apparently this is really, really good for your gut and your immune system if you have like a little spoon of this every day so i think i'm literally just gonna do that i'm pretty sure it tastes like vinegary but i love the taste of it it's fermented it's just really good for your gut and stuff so i will let you guys know if i see any benefits from this but i've been always wanting to try it so i decided to pick it up today i'm gonna be incorporating this into my health routine just made this spring roll in a bowl dish and i'm gonna serve it over rice so there's ground chicken in here coleslaw mix with teriyaki sauce ginger and garlic and oh my gosh it looks so good we're just gonna plate it with rice and this is a new dinner i've never tried before so i'm really excited wake up and my face 
feels so puffy. I don't think it's just me though. I know a lot of people can relate to this. I always do just the bare minimum for my skin. And in 2024, I want to integrate the healthy self-care habit of taking just better care of my skin and developing a better skincare routine. But I started integrating this Amiro device. It snatches my face in the morning and it's been the best thing ever. So this is the Amiro R3 Turbo Facial RF Skin Tightening Device, which basically gives you a whole facial in under five minutes. This is a radio frequency device that stimulates heat in the deeper layers of your skin to promote more collagen formation. And it also has electrical muscle stimulation, which gently tones and tightens your skin. So it's basically like giving your face a workout. And it also uses red light and an infrared light. So this is my before. This is our hydrating and moisturizing serum gel that I'm going to be putting on my face before using the device so it can seamlessly glide on. So this device is actually made for sensitive skin in all skin types. I'm going to put this on the full face setting. So this is how you use it. This is not painful at all. I just feel a slight vibration and that is about it. So I just finished the treatment. We are looking so snatched. Are you kidding? I'm actually obsessed. So if you guys want to check out Amiro, I will have a link to them down below as well as a coupon code for money off. Everything will be in the description. Let's continue the morning routine for today. I just made myself some bone broth and I'm just about to go read on the couch because it is a cozy vibe day today and I like to switch it up sometimes. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now with my warm bone broth. So I'm currently getting ready. There is no way I could work out this morning because of the snow. Honestly, I'm really bummed out about it because it's the beginning of January and I'm supposed to be, you know, in a great routine. And as you guys know, if you watched my last video last week, couldn't really do much because my car wasn't working. So I was housebound, but I'm trying to make the most of it because I do really love the snow and the way that it looks. I think it's so pretty and it just like reminds me of my childhood and it's so nostalgic but i just wish that the snow came near christmas time you know what i mean that's when i would really have enjoyed it a lot better than now it's funny because i thought january was going to be like my most productive month ever but there's just been these roadblocks in my way that have keep coming up at the end of the day there's really only so much that i can do so i've been trying to not worry about and not get frustrated about what's not in my control there's a lot of things in your life that are in your control and that something goes wrong with it it's your fault and you have yourself to blame and you can change it and learn from it but there's also a handful of things in life that are really just completely out of your control those things you can't really stress about because it's not in your hands and it's not in your hands for a reason that's something that i honestly kind of struggle with sometimes is worrying about things that are completely not even in my hands and out of my control and i just frustrated with myself that i'm gonna go to the gym and i had to have a more relaxing morning but at the end of the day it's like who cares in the grand scheme of things it's not gonna make a difference and yeah i think it's just a really good life lesson in general to not worry about things that you can't control so that is definitely something that i want to put on my 2024 new year's resolutions i'm not sure what the day is gonna look like but i'm going to try to make the most of it i really really hope tomorrow i can still go to my pilates class i'm praying because i'm going with my sister madison and her friend sadie we booked the class together I'm really praying we can go it's supposed to snow again tonight but i don't think it's gonna be as much so it should be fine I'm crossing my fingers but not gonna stress about it i'm just putting good vibes out there for it to happen so i just thought that i would get myself ready for the day regardless because that is a habit that i want to start implementing getting 
getting ready for the day every day whatever that looks like whether it's putting on makeup putting on an outfit just something so that i feel more put together and sure there could be days where i don't once in a while but for the majority of my days i want to put myself together because that just leads to me being more productive and getting more things done i have a little pimple patch on because i've been like breaking out here for some reason i think it's hormonal but anyways so i'm getting ready in the bathroom today because my my office is under renovations my desk is built i will show you guys a sneak peek i want to kind of take you guys along the transformation a bit on like my normal videos because i don't want to hide it because i want to be filming in there before the video comes out anyways so just promise me you'll watch the office renovation video once it comes out since I moved the vanity out, since I put the desk in, I have all my makeup here, which I'm going to be just using the, this bathroom to do my makeup and stuff and it, I'm using it as a storage room too, just for the next while, well, that room is under renovation, so... My lips have been so dry recently, like flaking off. Like I have to take a tweezer to the dead skin, it's so bad. I'm going to put some Aquaphor on. Just did a little makeup for the day. Now I'm going to get dressed and just kind of plan out my day. Try to make the most of it. Here is the desk that replaced my vanity. I am in love with it. I love the shade of wood that it is and I just think it fits the space perfectly and it looks so good. I am going to be adding stuff here, there, curtains and everything. So this room is going through a whole transformation but I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek of the desk. And yeah, this wood is just so beautiful. <laughs> I just finished journaling this is the notes to mindfulness journal because i didn't journal this morning i decided to read instead so in this journal it gives you journal prompts on what to write about and listen to today's prompts you cannot fight the flow of life what do you struggle to accept that you have no control over when you are in a negative mind state what helps you feel more at peace did i not just talk about that isn't that crazy just the way sometimes the universe aligns things is so insane look at how many pages there are and that exact day says that it's just insane the habit of journaling it's a really good way to just express my gratitude my thoughts my feelings in a way that i can't really do otherwise and i don't know it just kind of unlocks something creative in my brain and it helps me reflect a lot i really love journals that have prompts especially because sometimes it's hard to think of what to write so when a journal has prompts it really does help you think outside the box and get to know yourself a little better if you guys don't have a journal with prompts you can also just go on pinterest or something and search up journal prompts and a bunch will come up and you can just write it like on a blank piece of paper or in a blank notebook but i would definitely suggest to try to journal because i was never really a journal gal before but i really want to try to integrate it more in 2024 and i did make it a habit at the end of 2023 so yeah i mean i mostly do gratitude journaling but that's why i love this journal because it has like the best prompts and it makes me just really think about life and everything in general so mm -hmm. just made some peanut butter and apples for a snack i realized that i don't really get a lot of fruit or vegetables in during the day and instead of going in my pantry and choosing something that's not very nutritious for a snack i may as well grab a fruit and make a little fruit dish or something like this where it's like peanut butter gives you a lot of good calories and fats and probably a little bit of protein and then you got your fruit in here for your fiber and then whatever vitamins it has but that's a healthy habit that i want to integrate in 2024 is just really trying to fit and prioritize eating a lot of fruits and vegetables because that is the best way to get nutrients in your body so i'm gonna try to be making an effort to make this a habit it's obviously a little bit quicker to reach for something unhealthy but it takes an extra five ten minutes to make something that will actually make you feel 
good after eating so peanut butter and apples has been my go-to recently i have been obsessed i feel like they're so underrated i used to have this all the time and then i forgot about it for a few years and i have brought it back now and i am obsessed with this snack it's just the perfect amount of food for me when i get a little bit hungry and it satisfies my cravings so anyways if you guys haven't had peanut butter and apples in a while 10 out of 10 would recommend it's so good and i use the kirkland natural peanut butter so you can use whatever peanut butter you want at the end of the day but this one's a little bit healthier than your you know jiffy one or whatever even though those ones are so good but it makes me feel better that this one is just peanuts nothing else added so yeah it also has four grams of protein per one tablespoon oh my gosh that is so good little I guess healthy nutritious snack for midday that is not gonna also you know make me tired or weigh me down so i'm gonna have this and then start editing peek of what is behind me what i've been doing like i said i'm not gonna hide this office transformation obviously i'm not gonna show everything in the vlogs because i'm making a whole separate dedicated video for it so i'm not going to do too much repetitive content but oh my gosh i am actually in love and i'm not gonna show you but we installed curtains and they look so good so i'm just like so happy like this room is finally coming together i'm just obsessed and i already feel so much more inspired to be in this room just as it is right now your environment is so important i swear to your creativity to your workflow it's so much more important than you think this is already just making me feel so good and want to be in here and edit but anyways i saw your guys's comments in the last vlog and i saw that you guys wanted me to bring back the super super long videos because you guys really liked them and they are coming back probably not until february just because i have some themed videos that i already pre-planned for the month of december so most likely my long videos will be out in february potentially before that but who knows i haven't done one in a hot minute and i didn't even know you guys were missing them until i saw your comments and it made me so happy because i didn't know you guys actually cared so get excited i tried to do one this week but I just wasn't able to get the content that I wanted to get because we were snowed in for a few days And this week was just weird because I was also working on this room and I was filming for that video So I didn't really get all the footage I wanted to get for this video So anyways, these past couple weeks like the beginning of January has been a little bit weird for me So I'm just pivoting a bit, but I'm really excited to bring the long videos back for you guys And if you're new to this channel and you're like, what do you mean long videos? This video is already long No, like I used to do one hour long vlogs and I would just vlog my whole entire week and bring you guys along they were such a vibe like i really really loved making them and yeah anyway so that's the update on that and the update on my office the fact that i get to film in this room now is making me so happy so it's like new angles new setup shots and i'm really excited so i'm just trying not to make my videos super repetitive and it's kind of hard to do that because my life is basically the same thing every single day so let me know what you guys want to see from me what you guys subscribe to me for if you're just here for the vibes if you're here for my motivation
information why do you watch me and why do you like me i'm just so curious do you like when i show you guys products or do you just like a whole mix of that do you just like seeing my life i just love the feedback so please let me know if you are listening to this right now because that would be super 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 helpful but yeah i'm really excited because in the summer i'm planning on getting a drone and just filming the sickest things for my vlogs get excited i have big plans for 2024 for the videos and i'm always looking how i can you know make things better so let me know but anyways i just wanted to share before ending off today's video i have been reading atomic habits as you guys know i haven't been able to shut up about it and i just wanted to share something that i learned from the book this week that i feel like is just so important so one of the quotes in the book is the most effective way to change your habits is to focus not on what you want to achieve but on who you wish to become your identity emerges out of your habits this is so true you could tell yourself that you're going to start implementing a habit but usually those habits only end up lasting for only so long because you don't attach that habit to your identity and when you attach that habit to your identity you actually become that and that habit really actually does become part of you and part of your life for example if you want to become a runner you can't just go around saying and thinking to yourself like oh i'm just trying to run i'm just trying no you have to say i'm a runner and like identify as that and that goes for anything you can be whoever you want to be and that's why i feel like where we get stuck a lot in our heads we identify as this person and as this person we're made up of all these habits that we identify as but the only reason why that is true is because you're making it true and you're you identify as that you can identify as what whatever you want to identify as. It's all your choice. If you tell yourself you're a runner and then you start going on runs every day, that's gonna be true and then people are gonna know you as a runner. It's like people saying like, oh, I'm so messy. Oh, I'm so, I'm so clean. They're only messy and clean because they identify as that which leads to their habits. You know what I mean? And you could change that at any time. What if you started identifying as a clean person? You're probably gonna start to clean up a little bit more and then people will see that and then call you a clean person. So it's really cool how he like writes it out and what he says about that but basically it's like you as a person the way that people perceive you a lot of that is made up of your habits and it's really really interesting so think about that next time you want to implement a new habit try to really take that into your identification even if you have to fake it at first you'll actually grow into that i'm serious i've done it before i used to not be confident and i used to be like the shyest person in the room when i was younger and then one day i just flipped a switch and i'm like you know what i'm gonna change and i'm gonna be confident and i'm not gonna be shy and then a few months later i was actually that and people never said i was shy ever again i was not a shy girl anymore it's just really really funny how it all works at the end of the day it's all made up like we are the ones who create that for ourselves so create the person you want to become you could change anything you don't have to be stuck as that person your whole life the real reason habits matter is not because they can get you better results although they can do that but because they can change your beliefs about yourself so here where he says every action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become it's so true when you think of yourself what would be your ideal ideal self picture that and write down a few things to become your ideal self let's say that entails you being a clean person loving yourself going to the gym whatever it is everything that you do that's an action towards becoming your ideal self is a vote for your future self the majority of votes is going to be for that self right the majority of your actions but it's okay if there's a couple votes a few votes that get voted towards the other side because at the end of the day the majority rules it's okay to slip up a bit it's okay to have balance but as long as the majority of your habits correlate and integrate into the person you want to be you're on the right track anyways i just wanted to share that because i was really thinking about that this week and i'm like this book is changing my perspective on a lot of things and i love it now i'll keep you guys updated with the stuff that i learned from this book so if you don't want to read it you don't have to i will keep doing these little chit chats but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to go follow my instagram and tiktok because i've been posting a lot more on tiktok specifically i'm so excited to show you guys the rest of this room i just can't wait till it's done but i hope you guys have the best week ever i'm sending you all the positive vibes for the beginning of 2024 see you guys in the next video Thank you.